Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, bobble journaling, thrift, and trash lips on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my video today. Hey y'all, welcome back to one of my new videos today. I'm doing patriotic DIYs and my guest host today is Sweet Tea and Butterflies and I'm Sunflower Tasha DIYs. So we're just doing any kind of patriotic crafts today. And for my first project, um, I'm going to be using some of these denim jeans. Um, they're just some of my husband's um, ripped up jeans that uh, he can no longer fit in. So I'm going to be just utilizing those in my projects today. Um, so first thing I do is just trim me down a piece and um, this is like where the foot part would be, your ankle. And um, it kind of gets that little fray there. So I just trimmed that. And basically, I just trimmed me down a little square piece of it. So I had this little wood thing in my stash. Um, I'm also going to be using one of these stars from this kit from Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe that flat dowel came from Hobby Lobby as well. And now I'm just using a little bit of the Snow White um, paint and painted that star white. And I used the Red Barn Apple Barrel paint to paint this flat dowel stick or dowel cap. It's a rather large one. And I'm just using a piece of felt from the Dollar Tree and just went ahead and covered the bottom of that. And then I just have a jar of some scrap um, fur that I'm going to be using for my gnome's beard that I'm making. And like I said, these are just scrap pieces. I did end up having to add a couple more little scrap pieces to this just to um, completely fill in the beard. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you that right offhand, but... When I added the hat, I kind of noticed that I needed a little bit more hair on one side. So um, I just had to trim down just a tad bit here. And then what we're going to do is find the center. And once I do, I marked it. And then I'm just going to draw out a little triangle shape here. And um, if you don't want this too triangly, you can just do it where it's more of a flat top. Then a pointed top, it makes it a little easier, but then I just basically hot glue this around to the back and um, I just use hot glue. And now I'm just going to use hot glue to um, connect, connect it um, together, but then I noticed it was kind of just like empty. So I will show you me um, grabbing some, um, oh, what's that stuff called? I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. It's like uh, this stuff right here, <laughs> the filling. Um, and I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They had a little pack of it. So it is like the filler stuff. I know there's a word for it, and I'm just not thinking of it, of, of course, but just like the stuff you stuff your pillows with. And then I just went ahead and redid that little seam there and covered it up. And don't ask me how, but I only burnt myself once doing that. <laughs> Instead of a million times like I thought it was going to. And this is where when I added the hat I noticed, or the nose, um, that's when I noticed I needed to add a little bit more um, hair to this little guy. Now this little piece came from Walmart off of a pick and I just glued it to the hat. And now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put. If I even want to put anything. I was going to do this strip and then I just really didn't like it. And then I was like, oh, I'll make a little bow. And then I went and grabbed some burlap and made a little tiny bow with that. And then I'll go ahead and glue that down um, to the front of this just to kind of make it all one seamless piece. 
And then those leftover pieces, uh, this leftover little piece of burlap here, I'm just trimming down and we'll just do little patches like here and there. And then that piece came kind of flopped up and then I decided to fold the hat over and add a few more patches here and there with that burlap. And then I was thinking of doing like a little cotton pom-pom um, ball for the end of the hat, but mm, I really didn't like it. So I just did a little patch over it too. All right, so project number two, we're moving right along here. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. Um, this is a playlist, so I will have other crafters um, in this playlist. So make sure you guys check it out and check out my guest host today that um, is doing this collaboration with me. She's absolutely amazing, and I know you will love her channel. I will also have her link down um, in the description box along with everybody else in the playlist. So make sure you check us all out and give everybody a like and a comment and share with your friends. Um, that really does help us grow on YouTube. And we really appreciate when you do that. So here you're just seeing me use a scarf from the Dollar Tree. And then I have these tags that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I just cover them with denim. Now this little darker denim was an old pair of my jeans that um, no longer fit me. So I just use them for my crafting. And at first I used a couple of these glues and I didn't like them and I pulled them off. And I decided to use the glue stick. Um, I noticed when I use the glue stick you can't really see the glue versus you can see the glued from the liquid glue so I just went ahead and used the glue stick to glue these strips down um, to the tag here and these uh, ribbons came from the Dollar Tree and that scarf that you see um, also come from the Dollar Tree I'm going to be using that today as well so here we are just kind of sort of um, making like a little tag flag, I guess you could call it. And I bought this little punch from Hobby Lobby when they have their sales. I can't remember if this was a sale or not. I know it was 40%, but I'm not sure if it was like $4.99 or up. Sometimes that you have to read the signs because even though it says it's Paper Studio is 40% off, sometimes it's $4.99 and up or something like that. So I'm just using that Dollar Tree vinyl here to cut me out some stars with the punch. And then I just peeled them off the backing there with my um, tweezers to help me secure those down. And then um, I am inking this up with some vintage photo distress ink. And I also am going to seal the edges here with this lighter. And that's pretty much it for these little tags. Um, for now, I do um, add some um, of these little letters here. I believe these letters I got from Amazon, like in a pack. It came like in a little square um, wood box. Um, but I've had that in my stash for a very long time. But I really, really think it might have came from Amazon. Or maybe Michaels or somewhere like that. And then I just used some more of that distressed ink there. And now I'm going to use um, the twine that was basically already on the tags. Except for I dirtied up those with the distressed ink as well. And I also burned off all the fuzzies so it made it a lot darker. So now I'm just taking one end of the string and I am tying it on to the center of this. Um, we're making a garland. And the reason why I'm only doing one string is because I want these little tags to kind of mimic a firecracker. So one string is obvious, you know, because we're going to hang it from the garland, but the other one was already kind of cur like curly at the end, so I thought that would be perfect. 
and then I'm going to uh, make sure they're all even the same size and just use a little bit of hot glue to adhere that other piece down to make it look like that's the where you can ignite it and then I just use some hot glue on the back to secure the twine and that's it so I thought it looked bare so I went ahead and grabbed these stars that come two to a pack they're called ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I go ahead and dirty up these around the edging as well and then um, the top of it as well where like you could see the lines and then we'll just tie this on quick and easy simple here and then I do trim down those little extra pieces hanging out and then I added some denim strips too which I didn't end up showing you guys because it was an afterthought so for this last project here I'm using these three colors that um, I just scooped those up from Hobby Lobby using my distressed or not distressed inks but my Waverly wax and then I got this United States um, plaque uh, wood plaque here from Hobby Lobby um, they were also having a little 40% off sale or maybe it was 50% I can't remember but um, and I scooped that up and then they had these little USA's now the USA's um, you you cannot get the 40% okay. off because they are under $4.99 and then the wood pile that I also got where I used the star in the first one that one you also cannot get <clears throat> for 40% off because it's a U price so once I was done painting all the um, letters here, I just take a um, Dollar General. I got this tag, this little wood tag from Dollar General. And I'm just going to cover it with um, another piece of that darker denim. And then I just use my X-Acto knife to kind of trim that out and get a nice edging. Did not wait for it to dry, so <laughs> you want to make sure it doesn't move around on you. And then I do take a, a piece of white jute cord and tied it on there and distress the edging. Now I'm going to leave this part in here because I do end up using um, this part right here. But the next part I don't end up using that bird because I really just wasn't sure where to put it or how to I guess. I don't know. Every way I put it on there just wasn't, I just wasn't really feeling, feeling it. But I'm going to leave this in here because if you would want to do something like this, maybe this will give you some inspiration to maybe do this on your piece and um, maybe you'll find a spot that you really liked. I don't know. Maybe it was just because I couldn't, I didn't just cut the bird out and put the bird on there. I left it on the fabric and just trimmed the fabric down a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's why. But I'm just using some Tombow markers here. This stamp did come from the Dollar Tree, this bird stamp, so reasonable price for that stamp. And then I just add a little bit of black highlights here and there and black on the feet and the beak. And those are the, the Tombow markers. And then this um, free inside of the lettering, there was a white space, so I just went ahead and used the red on it as well. And you guys will have to let me know which project today was going to be your favorite project. And then um, I just hang that little free sign up there on the top. Like this. Alright. So here is the final reveal of the three projects that I created today. You will have to let me know, is this cute little gnome your favorite today? I think he's absolutely adorable. Or is the United States plaque your favorite? Or is the garland? You see how I added the little denim strips? Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe to everybody in the playlist, you guys. There's some amazing crafters that joined. And I can't wait to see what they made as well. So I'd like to thank everyone. Bye. And thank you to all my subscribers. And all your continued support here on my channel. If you are new here, please 
like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps me grow on YouTube, and I appreciate all that you do when you do that. Also, if you hit that bell button, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you again for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me on Instagram on my personal account, or you can follow me on my gallery account. My personal is obviously my personal, and then my gallery is just where I post pictures of things that I had made on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for all that you do and all your continued support. Bye!